What's going on today, La Familia? What the business is? How y'all doing today? What y'all got going, family? Y'all know we live in here. Back with y'all. Love to see y'all. Love to rock out. Y'all know what the business is. Now, we got a crazy video for the day. Y'all already know. And we're going to get down to the knit and grit. You know, down to the bone of that T-bone steak. You feel me? But before we get into anything, I do want to say this. If you have not followed me on Instagram yet, as of yet, make sure you do that one right there. You hear me? You know, it's a lot of diverse content on there. So go ahead and follow me at All Facts King KO. You see it down there on the lower screen. As well as, you know, following me on TikTok at King KO All Facts. You know, some more diverse content on there as well, you know. Do that for your boy, man. Show your boy some love, kings and queens. And then also, make sure you wipe your feet as you come in the door by liking the video. You know, I don't think y'all understand how much the likes help. They help these videos be recommended to more people. You know, they help them grow a lot better. You know, plus retention, man. Stay tuned to the end of the video as well as commenting. Commenting is vital. That really helps the video be shared. So go ahead and comment whatever it is you know comment a 100 if you like the video a thumbs up a fire emoji or if you don't like the video go ahead and comment a thumbs down just show your boy that love man don't don't be a sucker or a bust and try to show stop somebody's grind you know help us help us get there where we need to go you know show that love family because y'all know i kick it right back you know now we got a crazy video for the day oh and one more thing make sure you subscribe to the video Turn them post notifications on and go all the way up to all. A lot of y'all be saying that y'all not getting the notifications from the videos being uploaded. Well, that's probably because you don't have post notifications on as well as, you know, turning the bell icon all the way up to all. If you do that, you will get every, every, every video. You'll get notified every time we drop. And uh, yeah, man, you know, you really gang gang and you're part of the family and whatnot. You feel me? Now we got a crazy video for the day. As you can see, man, you see these two, you know, they, they give them a little smooch and whatnot, man. But uh, everything that glitters isn't always gleaming. And y'all going to really come to understand that in today's video. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. Believe it. This story is finna shock the minds of a lot of people, especially the queens. I think this will resonate with the queens a lot more, and that's what we kind of aiming at. So if you're a queen, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn all on. Kings as well, but uh, we need more queens on the channel. Like I said, man, we uh we kind of short on the feminine side, so trying to produce some more content for y'all. So uh, make sure you tap it in, regardless of who you are, but queens especially. Now, we're going to read this post from the Charlotte Alerts, as it says, breaking 28 year old man lifted and taken away from this earth y'all know i can't say those words on february 9th 2021 deshaun mccain is 28 was lifted and taken on kelston place charlotte north carolina the uh situation was at an apartment complex two people were involved in an altercation which led to a situation outside in the parking lot deshaun was hit and he passed away on the scene and as y'all can see, that's Deshaun right there. Sad situation that the man lost his life. But after he lost his life, that's when this story starts to take off. Now, this man was living a double life and that got exposed after, you know, one of his partners, one of his two partners decided to make a post talking about how they felt about the situation. Now she states, no, I'm not OK. I'm in pain. The love of my life said, wifey, I'll be right back give me a kiss kiss my kids and left just to not come back home i feel sick he's my best friend and a true partner forget all of that stuff he's my man i don't give a f about anything else the most loyal person 
and down person I know. He would break his back for you and give you his last. Heart emoji, baby, I love you with a kissy emoji. I told you this every day and I will continue to say it. Our love and dreams don't end here. They continue. I know you'll be my guardian angel. With the angel emoji, I'm pressing hard and applying pressure even harder than before just for you. Sounds like a beautiful heartfelt message to the man of her life, right? It sounds like, you know, a beautiful heartfelt message to the man of her dreams, the one that she was destined to be with, her better half, and the person that she planned on, you know, going to the grave with, right? But no, it's not. This definitely unlocked a lot of doors to the gates of H E double hockey sticks. And uh things definitely got a lot crazier from here. Now let's go ahead and move forward in the story. I'm gonna skip past all the extra lovey dubby stuff and we're gonna get straight to the point. Out of nowhere, a man named Wayne Hudson shares a post with her fallen husband and another man pretty much, you know, hugged up. You know, you see that hug. That ain't no friendly hug. That ain't what men do. To which a woman responds named Jasmine Adriana. She says, Wayne Hudson, he definitely loved his boyfriend. They were so cute. I love their relationship. DeMarco, Cheerboy Dotson, heart emoji, I'm sorry, baby. Wow. That got ugly real fast. Then Wayne Hudson responds and says, DeMarco is my cousin, so I know. Know what? Who is DeMarco? Then another woman named Tony Smith responds and said, please don't play with my top. R.I.P. Sean Sean. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Who is Sean Sean and DeMarco? And the girl Tony shared this picture right here with him hugged up, you know, all up on each other and whatnot. Well, DeMarco is the guy that she's calling Marcus. And the girl Tony also shares, you know, his profile, DeMarco Cheerboy Dawson, which is the dude that's with another dude. And Marcus is his, like, his double life. That's his second name that he gave to the girl. Then the girl Tony comes out and said, Slayed by Moan, which is the girl that made the original post about that being her husband. When you start dating, like last night, because baby, he, he G-A-Y, he have a whole live boyfriend that he stayed with. Well, I guess he don't stay with anybody now because, you know, he lost his life. And as you can see, the girl Shannon Smith went ahead and shared a confused kid to which Courtney Jackson replies, you know, my thoughts exactly. You know, everybody's confused. Which sparked, you know, the girl Simone to share the picture of her kissing him and also say, the love of my life, I will always love you. And somebody commented and said, sending much, basically saying she's reaching. She's reaching, you know, to which, you know, somebody else shares another profile of one of his family members that could verify the fact that, you know, he was with a man the entire time. Crazy, right? Crazy. But man, let me say this. I didn't post this video because... I wanted to, you know, bash anybody or anything like that. Let that man rest in peace. And I know it kind of seems like, you know, how did these correlate? Because the news report said this man's name was Marcus. And these other people are saying his name is DeMarco. But obviously somewhere along the lines, you know, he gave this woman the wrong story. And she must have been the one to identify his body. Now, you can clearly see those as the same people if you go to the profile and go to the pictures that she posted. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, they both passed on the same day at the same time in the same city. And they are literally look identical. So that's him, man. That's that's not, you know, nothing uh, uh, that they photoshopped or, you know, anything like that. That's that's that man. You got his own family coming out and, and stating it. And they still posting it on his Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not putting this here to bash nobody. I don't got no problem with, you know, anybody's lifestyle. Like I said, man. You know, live your life. If you swing that way, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? The only only problem that comes in for me is whenever, you know, you playing in the closet and you out here polluting, you know, the females and uh making them believe that, you know, you 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 don't swing that way, but you really do, you know. And the thing is, don't no woman want no Johnson inside of her that, you know, this man been sticking inside of another man. And then don't no man want to come inside of no woman's areas. You know, knowing that a man who was sticking his stuff in another man has been inside of here, man. So you really polluting her, man. You damaging her. And the things that this does to women internally, man, it's just messed up. I can only imagine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of, uh, of a woman's biggest fears, as I've heard from multiple women. A man 
who creeps around with other men women are scared of that women women are scared of you know their man actually messing with a, another man undercover you know you see that all the time over the internet man so this is just a crazy uh situation crazy story man and uh if y'all didn't hear it, the way that i framed it out basically what happened was you know he uh was living a double life and he pretty much got caught up after he passed away and lost his life because she made that post and you know just so happened a couple of his family members actually were on the post social media makes the world so much smaller you know everybody in your city has access to you so that kind of got that man caught up after he passed away which is i guess the true definition of taking a secret to the grave crazy right man y'all can't say this ain't a crazy story i had to talk about it man i had to hop on here and, and touch on this situation but definitely rest in peace to that man you know he deserves that if if anything you feel me but y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this situation down in the comment section and make sure you like subscribe and ring that bell icon and let's go ahead and move on to our second story now in this next story this is about nle choppa's baby mama marissa denae and uh i really wanted to do this story because i'm proud of her man if y'all don't know you know i know her you know grew up around her you know grew up with her and whatnot and uh i know her very very well you know from back in the day well not today but i know her very well and i'm proud of her and the steps that she took and became you know a, a star on the wild and out show as well as becoming his baby mama and finding her position in life now she has some things that she spoke about her fam and whatnot on facebook and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show that stuff to y'all, man, because I feel like this is a vital thing that goes on within a lot of families and are not sp spoken on. So uh, I'm definitely proud for her actually coming and speaking out and letting all of this anger go. And what she says is, I'm so tired of my brothers, dog. I never seen somebody think you owe them something. I don't owe nobody. Nothing at all. Anything I have, I got that myself. Just like how you used to call someone mama that wasn't never your mom. Don't remember that. Don't be a hypocrite. I can't call someone ma that took me into their family. You're still young. Look at the young mind you have. Our mother, not my mother, but our mother, I make sure she's straight, not you, nobody else. But me, doesn't matter where I'm at. Make sure she's okay. Let's talk about it. The reason she's where she's at is because she, uh, that's where she wants to be. I tried to get her a house multiple times, but she did not want that help from me. And under the conditions that she's in, you can nor force that upon her or she will push away. You're talking nonsense because I've been had money. I've been where TF I was at, had all this, the obsession to destruct someone constantly, then think they need to give you or do something for you because we're supposed to be family. Anybody who knows me know I don't hide where I came from. So IDK, what you're even talking about. It's clear you want something some attention so here you're the same person who thinks you can talk to me disrespectful and etc any kind of way and i'm still supposed to do something because we're family no i'm not i do not have to help anyone who just calls for money i'm not a bank don't call for nothing else but money when i was doing everything for y'all y'all just expected it and took all that for granted so please save it I can have a real relationship with my real father. Nobody has took the things your father has done for me. I don't want to be TP with people who just calling me for money. But when you called last month about your problems, I sat and listened. And when he calls for money, I give it to him. But I'm not giving him money every day. So sorry that you feel a way I decay why, but I'm not obligated to do anything. Even when I, I ain't have it. I gave it y'all all that I had so stop trying to portray that I never did because you and I and everybody else know I went above and beyond until you started feeling used and only talk to go buy things and give money you're a grown man I'm not taking care of a grown man I have figured out all of this on my own so do you have a blessed day that's facts you don't have to take care of no grown man then she says you were acting fast and being grown I wonder F and Y. I was never a child. I was never a child. When certain things happen to you repeatedly, of course, you become rebellious and etc. You also suffer from stuff when you grown up 
you begin to have real life issues that you didn't even know your childhood trauma triggers. I keep a lot of family secrets a effing secret, but I refuse to be looked at as the bad person. Let's talk. Let's effing talk about it. Let's effing talk about y'all don't want a real relationship with me. Y'all just want money. Let's talk about it. I'm not giving nobody nothing that don't blank with me for real. So the, the so save the BS for someone else. I'm tired of keeping my mouth closed. Facts. She shouldn't have to. And really, man, that's that's messed up. The whole god dang family is fake. And this is why I stay away. Want to talk about where I came from? Let's talk about it. Want to talk about why I'm not around? Because for effing years, I was getting touched. And uh, you know what? Other word for touched. And nobody wanted to effing help or believe me. I constantly told people and I realized nobody was going to protect me. I ran TF away. Y'all don't know the uh, blank I endured. Not only did I have to take care of kids that wasn't mine, I had to become an adult. Nobody wanted to effing protect me. When I finally was on my own and worked years and years to be where I am, now you think you can reap the benefits. No, I'm tired. The whole family is fake and y'all do all y'all do is gossip and hate. But I did all this for myself and I'm really just tired of the BS. MFs really used to violate me as a child. I have an effing list. It was just one person, a grown man, a grown A man, shouldn't be wanting a, a 10 to 14 year old girl. I'm tired of people trying to come for me. But when we need to talk about the real truth, everyone is quiet. Facts, man. That's a sad situation. Family pictures don't be so perfect. Now, does it? Man, that's sad, ain't it? For real, y'all. She went through all of that, man, being uh, touched and, you know, all these different things, man, to becoming successful. Now, y'all got to understand, man, she really is a, a good person, man, like naturally. A lot of people thought she came off as bougie because, you know, she didn't really mess with anybody. She was boxed in and all that type of stuff, man. But uh, she was a good person, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's just sad to see that she actually went through all of this, man. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on all these situations down in the comments section. You know, uh, especially this one with Marissa Denae, uh, NLE Choppers, baby mama, man. I'm proud of her, man, and where she made it to, you know, as well as the crazy story from the beginning, the first one, you know, with the man, you know, actually living a double lives and whatnot. But, uh, man, you know, we just got a lot of crazy stuff going on in this world right now, you know, and um, only thing I can say to it is, man, as long as, you know, uh, we keep a lot of the stuff in the light. You know, stop hiding stuff, man. Stop trying to, you know, uh, that's the thing about family. We always got secrets behind closed doors, but it's better to put them out into the light, man. That way, you know, a lot of people can be held accountable for the things that they do. You know, that's not a mistake to actually touch a child. That's something you should suffer for. That's not a mistake that you make. You feel what I'm saying? You know, it's it's not, you know, so, so stuff like this needs to be brought to the light, in my opinion, you know, so. Uh, we definitely will keep her in our prayers, you know, uh, may the most high be with her, you know, and uh, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on all these topics down in the comment section and uh, make sure you like ring that bell icon, which you should have already did at the beginning. Make sure you subscribe and turn the post notifications on it. With that being said, I'm out. Believe it up.